and SpaceX, the rocket company NASA uses. Now his sights are set even further afield, colonizing Mars. And Elon Musk and NASA recently announced that they've made a mind-boggling discovery on Mars that will change everything we've ever known about the planet. NASA is extremely fascinated by Mars and has sent multiple rovers to explore its terrain. As someone who wants to set up a permanent outpost on the planet, Elon Musk has been paying close attention to what NASA's rovers have found. The latest rover to land on Mars is the Perseverance, accompanied by a small helicopter named Ingenuity. What has NASA's Perseverance discovered on Mars' geologically rich terrain? And how can these discoveries affect you? Stay tuned as we bring you the shocking findings Elon Musk and NASA just made on Mars that have surprised the entire space industry. On August 7, 1996, a swarm of reporters, photographers, and TV camera operators descended upon NASA's headquarters in Washington, D.C. The crowd's attention was not on the scientists sitting in a row in NASA's auditorium, but on a small, clear plastic box on the table in front of them. Inside the box was a velvet pillow, and a rock from Mars was sitting on it like a crown jewel. The scientists announced that they had found signs of life inside the meteorite. NASA Chief Daniel Golden exclaimed with delight that today was an unbelievable one. He was spot on, more so than he realized. According to the scientists, the rock originally formed on Mars four and a half billion years ago and remained there until it was propelled into space 16 million years ago, most likely by the impact of an asteroid. Before finally settling in Antarctica 13,000 years ago, the rock had been floating around the inner solar system. In 1984, some snowmobiling geologists found it sitting on the ice near Alan Hills and brought it in. Researchers at Houston's Johnson Space Center, led by David McKay, discovered that the rock, termed as ALH84001, had an unusual chemical composition. A variety of minerals and carbon compounds, most of which are produced by microbes on Earth, were found within. Some bacteria can produce a magnetic iron oxide called magnetite, and those crystals were present as well. Further. McKay showed the audience an electron microscope image of the rock, which revealed chains of globules that were remarkably similar to chains formed by some Earth bacteria. In the years since, NASA has sent a slew of missions to Mars with great success, and the space agency is now making preparations for a manned mission to Mars, which is expected to launch in the 2030s. No one knows exactly where the Mars landing will take place on that mission, but a future space colony on the Red Planet would do well to establish a foothold in the chilly high latitudes. Mars, like Earth, experiences four distinct seasons due to the planet's axial tilt, with an additional seasonal effect brought on by the red planet's highly elliptical orbit. When Mars is at its farthest distance from the Sun, the southern hemisphere faces away from it, causing much colder winters and much hotter summers there than in the northern hemisphere. As it stands now, the Martian surface does not appear to be a place where life could ever flourish. Extreme dryness and sub-zero temperatures down to negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit constitute the Martian climate. Its atmosphere is so weak that it can't shield the planet from the deadly ultraviolet rays that come from space and threaten all life on Earth. However, Mars, which is as old as Earth, may once have had more favorable conditions for human habitation. The planet's gorges and dried lake beds are clues that water was once present. Scientists think that the early Martian atmosphere contained enough carbon dioxide to have warmed the planet's surface via a greenhouse effect. That is to say, in its infancy, Mars resembled Earth in many ways. Life may have been able to develop on Mars if the planet had been mild and damp for much longer than its current few million years. It's possible that when Mars's surface conditions deteriorated, all life there perished. However, there could be fossils in the area. From what we know about microbes here on Earth that can live from miles below the surface, it's also possible that life could have persisted below the surface of Mars. Latest Findings by NASA's Perseverance Rover The Perseverance Rover has made its most exciting find on the Red Planet to date. Perseverance has finally gotten samples from the site of an old river delta which is full of rock layers that show how Mars has changed over time. NASA scientists say that some of the rocks have the highest amount of organic matter that the rover has found so far. There are minerals in the organic matter that match up with sulfates. These could hold evidence of once habitable places on Mars and the microbes that may have lived there. 
New pictures show the rocks that look good in the strange landscape of the delta. These important samples could help answer the most important question in the universe. Are we alone? The sedimentary rocks in the delta are very different from the igneous rocks on the crater floor, which were formed when magma cooled and solidified. This juxtaposition gives us a lot of information about the geological history after the crater was made, as well as a wide range of samples. For example, we found a sandstone with grains and pieces of rock that were made far away from Jezero Crater. We also found a mudstone with interesting organic compounds. Wildcat Ridge is the name of a big, interesting rock that is about three feet or one meter wide. It probably came to be when mud and fine sand settled in a saltwater lake that was drying up billions of years ago. The rover scratched some of the surface of Wildcat Ridge on July 20th. This let it look at the area with a high-tech scientific tool called Sherlock, which stands for Scanning Habitable Environments with Raymond and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals. Sherlock's analysis shows that the samples contain a class of organic molecules that are spatially related to sulfate minerals. When found in layers of sedimentary rock, sulfate minerals can tell us important things about the watery environments in which they formed. What is organic matter? Organic molecules are made up of a wide variety of compounds that are mostly made of carbon and usually have hydrogen and oxygen atoms. They can also have other things in them, like nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Even though these molecules can be made by chemical processes that don't need life, some of them are the chemical building blocks of life. The presence of these particular molecules is thought to be a possible biosignature. A biosignature is a substance or structure that could be proof of life in the past, but it could also have been made without life. In 2013, NASA's Curiosity Mars rover found evidence of organic matter in rock powder samples, and Perseverance has found organics in Jezero Crater before. But unlike the first discovery, this one was made in a place where sediment and salts used to be deposited into a lake in the past, when conditions were right for life to have existed. When the Sherlock instrument looked at Wildcat Ridge, it found the most organic matter of any place on the mission so far. The sand, mud, and salts that make up the Wildcat Ridge sample were put there a long time ago in a place where life might have been able to thrive. It is important that the organic matter was found in sedimentary rock, which is known for keeping fossils of ancient life on Earth. No matter how good our instruments are on Perseverance, we won't know more about what's in the Wildcat Ridge sample until it's brought back to Earth and studied in depth as part of the agency's Mars Sample Return Campaign. In September 2021, Perseverance took the first rock sample for the NASA ESA Mars Sample Return Campaign. In addition to the rock core samples it has taken, the rover has also taken one sample of the atmosphere in two witness tubes. All of these things are kept in the belly of the rover. Geologically, the samples that the rover already has are so good that the team working on the rover is thinking about leaving some tubes near the base of the delta in about two months. After putting the cache down, the rover will keep exploring the delta. The director of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Lori Leshin, said, I've spent a lot of my career studying how people live on Mars and its geology, so I know firsthand how important it is for science to bring back a carefully chosen set of rocks from Mars to Earth. It is truly amazing that we will only have to wait a few weeks to send out the interesting samples from Perseverance, and only a few years to bring them to Earth so scientists can study them in great detail. We'll find out so much. More about the mission. Astrobiology is a big part of Perseverance's mission on Mars, and one of its goals is to store samples that might show signs of microbial life from long ago. The rover will study the planet's geology and climate in the past, paving the way for humans to explore the red planet. It will also be the first mission to collect and store rocks and regolith from Mars. In the future, NASA and ESA will work together to send spacecraft to Mars to pick up these sealed samples from the surface and bring them back to Earth for a more in-depth look. NASA's plan to explore from the Moon to Mars includes the Mars 2020 Perseverance mission. This includes sending people on Artemis missions to the Moon, which will help get people ready to go to Mars. The Perseverance rover was built and is run by JPL, which is run by Caltech for NASA. Finding signs of life on Mars is by no means the only goal. If you find a habitable environment and don't find it inhabited, then that tells you something. If there is no life, then why is there no life? The answer leads to more questions. The first would be what makes life abounding Earth so special. In the end, the effort being poured into detecting primitive life on Mars may prove its greatest worth right here at home.
That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the latest discoveries on Mars? Do you think it could become habitable one day? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.